Hello, everyone, and welcome to Omega Enterprise Gateway, or as we call it here, OEG, Omega's data logging and monitoring software that can be used with a variety of our existing and future products. In this video, we're going to navigate our way through the web-based user interface to show you the basics, helping you take full ownership of your process. By the end of this video, you'll know the key parameters found in each tab, how to view your device's real-time digital or analog readouts, how to add or remove a device, and how to download selected data. So let's get started. When you launch OEG, the first tab you see is Overview. Overview provides you with valuable data up front, such as active devices, offline devices, any alarm or event triggers, and graphs that display your memory consumption or RAM usage. The Readings tab is the simplest yet most valuable tab. It displays real-time digital readings for all of your connected devices. Or you can select the device ID found just below the device's name to view the real-time chart recordings. The Device tab is where you'll be able to add or remove a device, edit device settings, view real-time charting, and set up alarms. Let's start by adding a device. First, click on, you guessed it, Add New Device. Then, under Specify Product, you'll need to enter your device family like controller or iServer, along with its associated products such as ISDTH. This goes for the remaining families and products in the list. Something to note, you may see more options in this area as we begin to expand our product offering to be compatible with more Omega products. Feel free to give your device a name that's relevant to its process or location, whatever will best help keep track of your device. Under Specify Parameters, we're going to select one of the given interface options and enter the product's IP address. Lastly, you can set the reading interval to whichever value you'd like. However, it's limited to the actual read rate of the device itself. Now click Add. After adding the device, you can see its status immediately in this little heart icon filled in red. Now under Actions, you can start or stop your device recording, you can access and adjust the original setting parameters for any device, or set up an alarm and adjust its trigger values. Back in the Device tab under Actions, you can view real-time data for whichever device you select with the chart icon, as well as remove any device you no longer wish to have on screen or recording by clicking the trash icon. If we move over to the Data tab, we'll be able to access any stored data for each device. For example, we can indicate the specific time range after selecting the device IDs and sources that we wish to view the stored data from. We can click the chart icon below, and voila! Now to save this data that's been selected, we simply click the download button right next to the chart icon, and there's our CSV file ready to go. The remaining two icons will delete any stored data for the selected devices, so be sure that you really want to delete that data before clicking those bad boys. That brings us to the System tab, where the parameters to note are Notification Settings, where you'll be able to add email recipients for when either an alarm or event is triggered. The Display tab is where you can adjust the units of measurement. And click on the License tab to add your license number if you have purchased a key. That pretty much sums up all of the relevant tools you'll be using within OEG, but feel free to refer to the user manual for any additional details. Thanks for watching and we look forward to helping you sense incredible things.